Morning. I haven't been up to the plot since October of last year, so I figured I'd better get up there and check it out just to see if it's okay. And while I'm up there, I'm going to plant out the garlic bulbs. Windy out there. Yeah, it's caused some damage this wind. My little shed over the back there, I don't think has got long to go now before it collapses. And I'll take the camera out in a second and show you the damage that it's caused on the neighbor's plot. But I, looking at that, I think it might also be a bit of snow damage. Anyhow, I've, I'm up here to uh, plant the garlic, but these conditions aren't favourable. I probably won't be doing much talking as well. I'll uh, just get on with it rather than kind of show you exactly what's going on. Anyhow, it's just starting to rain <laughs> as well. So I think I'll sit in the shed for the next five minutes, wait the rain out and... Uh, yeah, maybe plant that garlic. I'll try and keep this brief. You may or may not be able to hear me over the wind, although it's pretty calm at the moment. Let me show you what's happened to my neighbour's fruit cage. Look at that. Completely collapsed. Now I'm guessing that's probably not the wind. I reckon that might be the snow that we had just before Christmas and uh, yeah it's obviously collected on top and the weight has obviously buckled and broken the frame. Either that or we've had a, a very big fat robin land on it and do that damage but no seriously I think that is the snow. And then this is the plot at the moment. Very damp. Probably not the best time to plant the garlic, but I'm going to get it in anyhow. And then my little shed here. Yeah, this is. This is. Uh, You see along the bottom there, that bottom uh, panel's come loose, but the whole shed had fallen off that lip. See the bricks at the bottom there, the wind pushed it that hard, it dropped off the side there, and so the whole shed. 
shed itself. It's kind of like leaning like that. So I've pushed it back on. But I think we've got gale force winds forecast for either tonight or tomorrow, so I don't know. It'll be a miracle if this uh, stayed up. Anyway, only time will tell. Right, let me show you the garlic that I've got and that I'm going to attempt to plant. Well, as you can see, I've got one bulb of Solent white garlic. Strong flavour, as it says on the packet, it stores well. Nice and firm. I have to uh, split that up and get it in the ground and then in the cat box. These are the uh, elephant garlic that Nigel from Muddy Boots sent me. Um, well, he didn't send me these. These are from my crop that grew from his, if you see what I mean. And I've got some big ones in there. So, yeah. Let's get a few of them out into the ground, at least. Right, as you can see, I've dug this small section of the bed over. I'm going to plant a couple of rows of garlic there. I'm not going to plant all of them out today, just in case they do rot off in the bed. Um, it just means I've got some spare to plant. Uh, later on in the spring. Anyhow, so I'm planting out some of the elephant garlic cloves. These aren't a true garlic as such, they're more closely related to the um, the leek, I think. Anyhow, if you've never planted garlic before, get your clove, two ends, a blunt end, you can almost see the roots there, pointy end, pointy end goes up, blunt end goes down, and away you go. Plant them about, I don't know, just, I, I just leave the tip, the pointed tip there, uh, just poking out the surface of the soil, and that's how I do it, and always seem to be fairly successful. Remember, blunt end first. I'll put a bamboo cane at either end of the road just to remind me where the garlic are and that's it until spring. Well that was hardly the most scintillating episode up at the plot, wasn't it? Anyhow, I got that first row of garlic in, which I'm pleased about. They should do okay. I've still got enough bulbs to do probably two more rows, maybe three, and I'll come up later in the month, maybe in February, and plant those out as well. But I just wanted to come up today just to see what condition the plot was in. The plot itself is in an okay condition, you know, average for the time of year. This little shed here, I don't know. It probably won't make it. Only time will tell. And uh, yeah, my neighbour's got a lot of uh, repairing to do on that fruit cage over there. Anyhow, enough waffles. 
that's it from me for this episode thank you for joining me if you have remember to hit that like button share subscribe but most importantly of all you know what to do you need to comment down below and uh, yeah let's have a chat anyhow until the next episode bye for now